we're going to do, I'd like to invite on stage the moderator of our, um, our next panel, which is titled Vision 2020, Looking Forward or Stuck 20 Years Behind. The chairperson for this particular panel is Mr. Suresh Balakrishnan, CEO of South Asia, and the Chief of Worldwide. mentioned the idea is primarily to have camaraderie so to speak and I'm wondering where the camaraderie is in the out of home ministry. Is there camaraderie in the out of home ministry? Do we all see eye to eye? Mr. Suresh Balakrishnan, you're going to be tackling these questions? <laughs> all right, may I invite the stage next, Ms. Minami Shah, Head Content Marketing at India. Minami Shah was also one of the duty members and at that point in time I remember her mentioning that they have managed to create um, a currency, so to speak, as far as the outer home industry is concerned, while they were using it to promote their product. Our next panelist is Arya Chakravarti, CEO of Times OH. Mr. Deepak Kapoor, Director of Gurshan Homes, who will be participating and representing the industry on this panel. We have uh, Mr. Puneet Anand, GM and Group Head Marketing Hyundai, Motor India Limited. Again, uh, autos and cars is another big sector as far as advertising is concerned for the out of home media. Next to your friend, Mr. Anup Jain, marketing strategist who is earlier associated with promoting brands like Young Food, both in India and Australia, and of course, later on, Bata. We also have a bit uh, somebody who actually teaches the teachers or maybe directs the leaders or makes leaders out of individuals. Dr. Sarandi Singh, CEO and Master Trainer, out of the Golf Leadership Program. Happening? What is it the future that we are looking at as far as our opponents concerned? Good evening, uh, everybody. Uh, the talks has not yet happened, there is still time, uh, but I will keep you informed if during the course the talks happens. Uh, firstly, uh, thanks, um, Exchange for Media, uh, Anurag, Navak, all my friends for. Uh, uh, giving us the opportunity to discuss this topic uh, at this forum. Uh, they want us to discuss Vision 2020, uh, whether the industry is really looking 20 years ahead or are we still stuck 20 years behind time. That's what they want us to discuss. And I think I have a very uh, nice mixed panel here. Um, I have one of the largest uh, media owners uh, on this panel with, and we have a couple of large users, clients of media, we have marketing consultants, and uh, we also have a trainer, uh, which I think is an interesting twist to the whole, uh, 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 to the whole discussion. So we have a, a nice mix of uh, uh, people here. What I'd like to, um, and the format that we'll be following, uh, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, is that I'd like to uh, spend five minutes sharing my point of view on the subject. We will then have each of our panelists talking for about five minutes each on their uh, perspective on the subject and where, where they think the out of home industry is, what are the pros and cons and where it's headed. And then um, we probably have a discussion, a quick interactive discussion and then throw it open uh, for questions uh, from uh, all of you. Um, and since uh, I'm the session chair, I get to go first. Right. So, uh, two, three, um, I'm not going to spend too much time on why the industry can't get measurability and you know, because I think this last 10 years that's what we've been discussing. And um, being a new entrant into this industry myself in a full fledged way, um, and, and I suffered from a huge degree of optimism. Uh, that, is a, that, is a, that is a thought that I have. 
and I'm extremely optimistic about this industry to, um, to, to start the discussion. And why do I say that? I say that because if you take up one issue of measurability, it is not an Indian issue, right? Nowhere in the world, nowhere in the world is out of home measured extremely scientifically. So let's get out of this uh, whole thing about, you know, how our industry is suffering in India and all that. Nowhere in the world does it happen. There are examples of something happening in the UK, something happening in the US, but otherwise there's nothing. Even in the UK and US, they're more anecdotal than what really happens. Instead, I think what is happening is a lot of synergy with technology which is helping this medium become more accountable. So forget measurability for the time being, let's talk about accountability because I, I think this medium is becoming far more accountable than most other mediums. Um, my friend here, Vinali, we talked about, which we were discussing earlier, something very interesting that Abbott has done uh, in terms of making the medium a little more accountable. And I hope Minali will touch about it, touch about it when we uh, when we come to you. Um, there are in in my agency, for example, one of the things that we recently launched is something called a social amplification score. It's a very interesting uh, marriage between social media and out of home. What it does is it's got a backend software that actually measures the buzz that your out of home campaign creates on social media, and therefore are there any spikes in it? And if those spikes are there, where are those spikes coming from? Do they coordinate with the areas where you have actually planned your out of home and so on and so forth? Because actually there can be some analysis between the buzz that your brand creates and your out of home campaign. That's one aspect. So therefore there are a lot of surrogate measures of accountability that are coming into this medium. Uh, Argo will talk about, again we were discussing, and he was saying especially in controlled environments like the airports that they handle, they can actually give you far, far more diagnostics than we can imagine, because of the kind of data that they possess about airports. As far as technology and digital integration goes, I think out of home is probably leading the space even more than the other medium, uh, any of the other medium that you can talk about. The reason I say that is that although there are limitations to digital media in this country, somebody will stand up and say, oh, only 10% of our inventory is digital, fair enough. There are two, three buckets in which we can put uh, the reason why those are. One is of course regulatory. There are regulatory issues in our country that don't allow us. I think it's a matter of time before that opens up, they will have to. Secondly, the investment that you require from, um, from the media owners. And the media owners' point of view is if I do invest this kind of money, the advertiser is not willing to pay that much money to actually offset the kind of investments that are made. So those, why those problems exist in delivering the digital experience, there are other ways of doing it. For example, there's a new company uh, called CE App. I'm sure it's, uh, people in the auto home business would have heard about it. It's a company that can actually embed uh, in any of the visuals in your communication, whether it's the logo or the model space or whatever, you can actually, the app recognizes any of those visuals that you want or all of them, if that's what you're consistent about. You can make every single static communication across the country interactive without a QR code, with nothing on it, right? It's just a technology where you just, of course, you need to download the app. And here's the killer part of the downloading the app. Nobody will download the app just for selling it. It can be integrated into your client's app. So for example, this idea, and the client is now promoting My Idea app, this C app can be integrated in the My Idea app. So any idea consumer, every single idea poster in the world can become interactive. And when I say static, it can be newspaper, it can be folding, bus shirt, anything. So there's a lot of this work that is happening which is extremely interesting and very fast paced. And it's available in India. I mean, CE app is a company that anybody can tie up with. It's available for anybody in this country. So there are lots of such <coughs> progress happening uh, in this medium which is making work accountable and which is making it more cutting edge in terms of technology. Um, being the only lady on the panel, I think um, um, I will go with uh, Minali first and ask her about her experience um, with Abbott and also her understanding of the auto home medium. A, to talk about that measurement system or okay, the accountable system that they have actually put into place to make the medium a little more accountable. And secondly, about her own thoughts on the auto home industry and where it's headed. Minali. 
are very effective in many communities. Primarily because of the fact that what we get is that uh, we want to be seen. We want to be seen and we want to be registered in the minds of the consumer. And what we find is that we like to provide this platform to register ourselves in the minds of the consumer. There is a very old slang which says, Jo dikta hai, wo dikta hai. So we have to be visible. So to create a visibility, OH becomes a wonderful platform to be in, and that's why most of the real estate companies are using it. And Gushon, we also use very effectively. And uh, what we have seen is that uh, you need to do a lot of permutation and combination to reach the consumer mindset. This is the first part of the story, and we've been spending quite a uh, Large percentage of the budget in the OH media, and the results are phenomenal. Why? Because uh, we were discussing internally, and somebody said that we put across a number or a message, but the message comes, it does not come, and what is the measurability. But what we have seen is, yes, there are certain specifics with which we can really measure it that when we project a OH media, and it's typical given geographic location for a uh, set number of days. And then we see the measurability in terms of power or the leads generated from that. So that is the kind of measurability we draw out of this OH media. And we, we say that whether it is effective, uh, we want to reuse it, or then we reload the uh, strategies for using that OH. So I find OH is a wonderful media in years to come, and it will definitely go exponentially. And real estate is uh, the biggest industry which uses it very effectively. However, I would like to take you to the current scenario. What we observe is that, uh, which I learned from the nature and the people around us is, in today's scenario, we need to target, target our audience. Uh, we have a fixed teaching. So to the audience, what we observe is, they don't spend time even lifting their head up or finding time out of the car window also. Even right now in this hall, 80% of the population is engaged on their mobile phones. I can say it with confidence. So we need to understand and learn from these views. What I find is future is how that OS can get into another jargon. The term is up to the industry to say I say it is in Mobi or it is Mobi in. We need to get into the mobile of the people. Why? Because most of the time we spend with mobile, starting from getting up till sleeping. Every one of us is engaged. Uh, this is the first relation. I say forget about son, daughter, father, mother, wife. The mobile has become the first relation we have. Before we say good night, we say good night to our mobile and then we sleep. The moment we wake up, we pick up our smartphone and see what has happened in the world. So we need to take cues from this nature and understand whether the OS will be able to find this as a competitor or not, or we somehow can blend it into this. So ultimately what I find is, future as we said that the vision is 2020, uh, I find another two years you'll find we all are entering into the mobile devices from morning till night. So we need to creatively understand how we can make ourselves visible into that mobile platform besides OH. Even today, a lot of our real estate industry and other industries are spending huge amount of time in OH media, but the future is into the digital platform. So that is what my message and an engagement and a thought process I want to give to this audience to understand how we can make our reach to the mobile and ensure that we are present in that mobile platform because this is where the future is from where we get the leads. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, thanks, Deepak, for uh, throwing a cat among the pigeons and bringing the mobile into play. Uh, I think it's an interesting subject, but we need a different panel to discuss mobile. You know, because it's a whole new, it's a whole different animal, and I don't think anybody in this industry, and I, and I mean most people in this industry, whether it's Ryan or Rainsy, have really cracked that medium yet. Um, Argo, uh, being um, somebody who can afford to invest, when I say afford to invest, I talk about being a large corporation, which is into the out of home business, also largely in the control environment. You are in an environment which allows you to invest in digital media and out of home, etc. And I know that as a company you have invested too in the digital space. And which is the way forward. We all agree that. What is your take on going forward? Is the, is the link with digital and with the internet the way forward for out of home? And if so, do you think 
adaptability of the medium is fast enough in our country? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Deepak for uh, uh, raising absolutely the right, uh, right point. Uh, I think, uh, so let me just uh, uh, dissect it a little bit uh, when you talk about 2020 vision. Uh, I think uh, the Indian auto home industry, uh, whether it is 20 years back or looking forward to 2020, I think it's somewhere in the middle. Uh, I think a uh, lot of, lot more work needs to be done. Uh, having said that, I think the direction in which the industry is moving is in the right direction. But having said that, a lot of work needs to be done. So the out of home industry, I think, needs to be deconstructed a little bit uh, from the ambient and non ambient view. Uh, from an ambient VR point of view, you are right. Uh, it offers us a lot of opportunity to integrate uh, the digital platforms. And, uh, you know, very honestly, you know, what people said, I mean, the most precious. Uh, real estate uh, for us today, or as we see today, is that uh, 5 by 5 or 5 by 4 inch uh, screen uh, which is there, which is grabbing the maximum amount of eyeballs. It is not newspapers, it is not television, it is a mobile screen. And uh, our kind of media, especially the airports and the metros that we have, uh, since it's, a, it's, a, it's an area where we get uh, consumer, uh, 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 consumers, engaged for a long time because even if you travel in domestic flight, you have to go there one hour early. And when you are going there one hour early, you have, you have 35, 30 to 35 minutes time before you board the aircraft. And that's where you see people you know, interacting on mobile. There's a lot of work which has happened. So if I can say in, in the airports, uh, Delhi Airport today, for example, uh, has more than about 200 plus uh, digital screens. Uh, similarly, for Mumbai Airport, about more than 150 odd digital screens. And we have technology. Actually, a lot of technology is there. You know, for example, we built up the, the QR code and the NFC technology a long time back, you know, where we did an experiment with uh, uh, something called OIVO.com, the, the travel portal, where you, know, you can take your mobile phone in front of a OIVO site, and from there, automatically, it will be downloaded uh, with NFC, you know, their, their website, and so on and so forth. So those kind of technologies are already there. We are working on it. And I think uh, it will be completely unwise to think that in the future, uh, if we are not able to integrate uh, mobile with the out of home space, we are not really going to get you know, where we want to. So that is one aspect of it. But the fact of the matter is that a large part of the out of home industry is still going to be outside, you know, which is the street furniture and what you see on the roads and so forth, the billboards and the holdings. So that is going to be a large part of the media. That, uh, because of certain regulation issues, you know, we cannot really digitize right now, as you know, you cannot you know, put digital uh, science signage on the roads, which the rest of countries you know, have gone far ahead of. So that is one thing that we are going to live with, and we are working towards as an industry body, working with the government to get some regulations friendly in that place. But having said that, there's a large part which is still going to be uh, there, uh, the way it is. And how we can get uh, just talking about diverging a, you know, a little bit from the main point you know, in terms of how we can get more share of the industry. I think there's a work needed to be done in that part of the industry as well. Uh, where, uh, uh, while I can, I'm happy to hear a lot of evangelists of the auto home industry here, uh, but I think, uh, and I'm not talking about measurability, as you said, measurability is not there. Uh, you know, everybody says, nobody, 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 there's no measurement anyway, syndicate measurement. But in terms of cleaning of the industry, uh, in terms of ensuring that uh, unregulated strikes do not happen. There's a lot of work which needs to be done with the media owners. You know, you mean to say there are unregulated strikes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There are many, many unregulated strikes. And there's a lot of, uh, and I think it's a, it's a work, it, it needs to be done, it has to be handled at the industry level, both by the owners and the agencies. Because uh, an unregulated and unlicensed strike will cost less. Uh, there is work need to be done on that, for that part of the trust to get rid of. From, a, uh, from the advertiser's point of view. Ambient media does not have that problem, you know, that fortunately you, know, you have you know, uh, authenticity for that. So there are two aspects to the point. From a digital point of view, ambient media, yes, there's a lot of way ahead. But to get motion of the pie is a non-ambient media, where the work needs to be done. Regulatory wise from the government, and internally by the agency, industry, by us, media owners, and the agencies, to ensure that we make the industry as clean as possible. We have but make it much, much more clear than what it is. A lot of steps have been taken, but much more needs to be done. That's all right.